chalkboard today is going to be very active. We're actually going to get on the chalkboard and do a little design. Okay? You want to get the chalk on up here? Okay. Anybody ever seen a container before? Okay. That is a shipping container. So what we're going to do for the next couple of minutes, we're going to dream of designing a shipping container to facilitate the outdoor classroom area. But beside this is another lot, the same size. Okay? So if there's another lot the same size, how wide is that lot? Okay, that's what the key is. How wide is the lot? If it's the same size, how wide is the lot? It's 60 feet. Okay, so we're going to draw a line here and we're going to meet it up because they're side by side. Okay, so we know this right here is 60. Okay, and if they side by side, then how long is it? 200. Okay, so once again, it's 200 feet. We might as well draw this line here. Okay, now we're getting ready to get to the good part. Okay, look at what we have on the screen. What is that? That's a storage container. Would you think that somebody could build an office in a storage container? They do all kinds of creative things in storage containers these days. Okay, how wide do you think this is from here to there? How wide do you think that is? You said 20? What do you think? You said 35? It's not 20. It's definitely not 35. How wide do you think it is? 60 is wide, so it's not 60. Okay. This is actually 10 feet. That's 10 feet. You said 10 feet? Okay, you gotta yell at it. When y'all outside, y'all yell, right? It's a good time to yell. Okay, all right. So if this is 10 feet, how wide do you think from here to there it is? You think it's 20? I think it's about 30. Okay? I think it's about 30, because if you just look at the distance from here to there, how many of those can you get here? I said that's probably 10 foot, 10 foot. So that's probably 30 by 10 foot. Okay. You can get uh, one of these. How, how much do you think just a shell of one of these storage containers costs? I hate to ask the kids about money because you get all kind of questions. Okay, but I heard of 1000 right? He said $1,000. Okay, anybody else want to give a guesstimation? That's how you do that. What do you think? How much? Um, $1,400. $1,400? Okay, all right. 1400 is the closest because you can get a 10 foot by 40 foot trailer from, I mean, storage container for about 15 to $2,000. Okay, so they are very cheap, okay? Now, in order to put this the way they did, what did you see in this picture that they did to make this storage container? Because what is the storage container normally for? Let me rewind that. Storage. Storage. Okay, check this out. The next time when y'all heading home today, when you're heading home today, especially those of you that live way across town, notice you see a lot of 18 wheels, right? What's normally on the back of an 18 wheel? A storage container. Okay, most 18 wheelers are gonna have a storage container on it. It's not gonna look like this. It's just gonna look like this on the side. So when you go home, start looking and noticing that those storage containers, they got so many of them now, where they got shipping yards all over the world, 
with an abundance of shipping containers, and now they've created a market. There's a market where you can take shipping containers and make houses out of it. So the real reason for this lesson is that we're getting ready to utilize the shipping containers to do something at the outdoor classroom, but also in a couple of years, we're gonna do a shipping container housing. Where do you think we're gonna do it at? Where though? If we're gonna do one at the outdoor classroom, we're gonna do a very larger project. Where do you think we're gonna do it at? Where did we just go? Where did we just go? Where did you just go in July? Africa. South Africa. So when we go back to South Africa in, in almost two years, we're gonna do a project that's gonna be a combination of a bunch of storage containers to make a house. Okay, but what we're getting ready to do in the next 30 minutes is we're going to design some storage containers that we can use at the outdoor classroom that's gonna help us with our agricultural component we're getting ready to do. Okay, because this lock that's right next door to the outdoor classroom, we're already doing what right here? What is this called, A word? We're doing aquaponics, which is what? Another A word. Aquaponics and soil gardening is what? It's an A word, agriculture. Y'all was struggling with that. <laughs> so we get ready to take agriculture to a whole new level to where this whole lot right here is gonna be a form. Okay, so we're gonna turn this into a form but if we have a form, what are some things that we probably gonna need to have if you're gonna have, you have to have a house for what? Not for animals, what do you need the house for? For shelter. For shelter, what do you say for what? For plants, okay. <laughs> Think about this. If we go and we pick some of the plants, Okay, and we don't get rid of them right then, what do we have to do? We have to store them. Okay, so if you're going to store something that you're going to eat later, what do you have to have to keep them from going bad? You got to have what? Not quite. You got to have what? Cool air. What's a, another name for cool air? Refrigerator. Okay, don't you have a refrigerator at home in your kitchen? Okay, so we're going to have to build something that's going to play a bunch of different roles. Okay, somebody just said we have to have a refrigerator. Okay, all right, what else will we have to have in this container? Refrigerator, what else we got to have? In, in Texas weather, what, what is something you have to have? You have to have water. AC. AC, got to have air conditioning. In the summertime, if we go over there and we're sitting in there, okay, let me rewind. Okay, if we have the outdoor classroom in the wintertime, how cold does it get in the winter? It could be 20, 30 degrees. Okay, so if we build the next building over here and we're outside and it's 30 degrees outside, what can we do in a container? We can go inside. So if we have air conditioning, we probably ought to have to have what too? We gotta have heat. Okay. So we gotta have heat. Okay. Now, there's something else that we have to have that we have not had the last couple of trips we went to the outdoor classroom and, and after about two or three hours you start having to do something and, and y'all say, where can I find the restroom? So, do we need to have a restroom out there? Yes, we do. Okay, but he said, not a porta potty. Okay. <laughs> 
And, and in reality, you use a porta potty until you can get a regular restroom, right? So in a couple of weeks when we have the outdoor classroom, guess what we're gonna have? Porta potty. Okay. But the porta potty is just for us, it might be pretty clean. Okay. So we gotta have a restroom. Uh, if if this is a classroom and that's gonna be a classroom, what else are we gonna need? Okay. Oh what? Yeah, that's true. Cheers. You're gonna have to have chairs. You got chairs right now, right? Okay. So we gotta have chairs. What else we got to have in this? Huh? What did you say? She said air. Well, we have air conditioning. Oh, do we really need anything? Okay. That's good enough. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste. Yeah, that's option. We're only going to be there for three hours every Saturday, right? So, we'll be back with brush and teeth. Okay. So, we're doing that. Are we going to be able to do the panels on there for electricity? Good point. Okay. So, what is something else that we need to have? Okay, solar panels produce what for us? Solar and it's what does the solar turn into? Energy, which turns into what? Somebody's already said it. To what? Lights. Electricity. Okay, so we gotta have electricity. Okay, and so the electricity is actually gonna be done by what? By solar panels. So we're gonna put solar panels on top of it. Now, when we look at this picture, do we see any solar on there? Okay. Oh, we see lights on there, right? Okay. What else do we see that's unique about this picture? Okay. It's got a door. Okay. And what is this right here? A window. Okay. So the thing that's unique about these storage containers, you can cut out anything you want, right? Okay, now here goes our design. Okay, now what we're going to have over here, this is going to be what? What did I say? F word. Agricultural what? It's going to be a farm. Okay, so if we're going to put a building on the farm, where do we want to put the building? Do we want to put it down by the street? Do we want to put it in the back? Where exactly should we put it? Okay, so why do you think we should put it in the middle? One block the street. Okay, so what do you think? He says in the middle, what do you all think over here? Where should it be? He said the same place that he said. Anybody has something different in why you think we should what do you think we should have? In the middle. That's what he said. Okay. Anybody any other ideas? Where we should put it? Because what we're doing, we're designing our own storage container classroom, and so we're going to put it where we think it should be. Okay, so now you get to think of where you want it to be. So where on this lot do you think it should be? So we put it in the middle? Okay, let's do this putting it in the middle. Okay, first we have to decide how big we want it to be. Okay, what did we say the size of that was? 10 by 30. 10 by 30. Okay. So, is that very big? Not big at all, okay? Because let's do 10 feet. Here's the easy way to do 10 feet. If you look at these tiles, how wide is each one of these tiles? They're 12 inches by 12 inches, so they're really one foot, okay? So if I start with this one, and I'm gonna do 10 foot wide, how many tiles am I gonna go that way? I'm gonna go 10 of them. Okay, so come on. Give me 10. Anybody? Walk me on 10 times. <coughs> now we've done this lesson before. Rice actually done this lesson. Remember we did the storage container? Okay, so start right here.
Okay, so from me to him is how wide one container is going to be. Okay, is that about the size of this class right now? It's actually too small, right? So we probably ought to do how many containers? If we did at least two, then give me 20, give me 10 more steps. Okay, so if that's, if we're from me to him wide, is that wide enough for a classroom? I think that's pretty good. Okay, now here's the talk. How wide is the lot? 60. Okay, how wide is the container we just made? 20. Okay, so would the container be wider in the outdoor classroom or would it be now? be now because this is 20 foot this is 30 foot so I'm suggesting that we actually make it 30 feet wide so now you gotta do 30 more feet 10 more feet somebody gonna be next okay so count 30 up Had to cut 
some of it out. Okay, so they must have took like a saw and just cut this out, right? Okay, check this out. If we have three of these containers side by side, what are we going to do with these walls? All we got to do is simply cut them out. Alright? So we cut them out. Now we have a real large classroom. Okay? Now how are we going to make these three stay together? Huh? I heard it in the back. What are we going to do? We're going to weld them together. Okay? Now, we can show you some pictures how they have welded them side by side. They've even stacked some side by side. And they can make two, three stories. Okay? But we're going to do a single story. And all we're going to do is take three of these 30-foot storage containers, weld them together, and have a very large uh, classroom. Okay? Now, uh, here's a question for you. It's more math. Okay. If we weld them together, where's all of the classrooms going to be? Okay. These are the main things we want. We want to have a classroom. Okay. Now, Something that's unique about these storage containers is they actually have a door, because you gotta have a door to open and get in them, right? Look at this. Where is the door at? It's obviously on this side because this side is probably the side that goes to the cab of the tractor trailer, right? Okay, so this is the pretty side, right? Because the other side's got doors open. Is that the ugly side or the pretty side? I would say that's the ugly side. Okay, so this side here that's kind of nice, we can actually cut that out and put what there? AC. We can put AC there, but what else we can put so you can see outside? You can put a window. You can put AC, and right below it, you can put a window. Then you can climb out of it. Climb out? <laughs> All right. That's what's wrong. Okay, so will we put the back side like that for this side that people on the street gonna see? Yeah, you wanna put you wanna put your best side so when people go by they see something that looks good. They want it. Yeah, that they want it. Okay? So on the street side, we would actually put windows, but on this back side. Because in reality, the way these uh, doors work, they work like this, okay? And so you actually keep the door. And so which way will we enter into the building? We'll enter from the back side, okay? And in reality, we probably can close some of these off. We probably could close all four of these and just have one door right here. Alright? So that means the classroom can probably, uh, if we have this at the front of the classroom, and we can make like a wall where you can walk through here. You can make another wall, walk through here. So then we start having the chairs. Okay, so where would the restroom be? Well, could we put the restroom? We can put the restroom in the corner. Okay, restroom. Alright, so where would we put the refrigerator and all that stuff? Wherever we want to put it. Wherever we want to put it. We can put it over here. Uh, we can do all kinds of stuff with it. Okay? So this is the direction we're getting ready to go. Okay, we're getting ready to put a storage container out there. But the main thing we're going to do with this property is we're going to do a form. Okay, so a lot of what we're forming, 
we can bring in here and we can put in a refrigerator or we can actually have a stove. We didn't talk about a stove because we can actually get to the point where we bring food in here and do what to it? Mm -hmm. Cook it, okay? So we can cook, we can have heat, we can have air conditioning, we can have water, we've got chairs, electricity. What's that? Uh, refrigerator. refrigerator. Okay, and what's the S for? Stove. Stove. Do we need a stove since it's like the outdoor? Good point. Okay, because what can we put uh, right here on the side that we can cook and do it outside? Microwave. <laughs> you can put a microwave on the inside. What can you put on the outside? Huh? You can put a grill. Okay. Alright. So we can put a gas grill and we can cook hot dogs and whatever we want to cook out there. Okay? Alright, so I just wanted you all to dream because this is a dream that's getting ready to come true. Okay? We're going to do a form out here and we need to put some kind of storage container for us to have classes when it's too cold or too hot. We got somewhere we can escape to. When we have, when we pick the garden and we don't get rid of all the produce on that Saturday, now we got somewhere we can refrigerate it until somebody can come and get it. Now we have restrooms so we don't have to use porta potties. Okay, so this allows us to do a lot that we want to do in the future. Okay, so this is actually going to help us give us an educational platform for when we get ready to do the storage container facility in South Africa. Because how many storage containers is the South Africa one going to have? How many storage containers are we going to use? How many? We're probably going to use about 12 to 16. 12 to 16 containers, putting them together, welding them together, two stories high, it's going to be a very, going to be much bigger than this room, but we're going to do a very large scale project in South Africa. Okay, we're going to close out with a little bit of math. Okay, how much did I tell you each one of these containers fall apart when they cost? How much? Okay, let's, when you uh, estimate, should you round down or should you round up? Um, you should always round up because you rather know you got to spend more and if you end up spending less, that's cool, right? Okay, so if we said the ballpark for a 10 by 40 trailer uh, is, we said it was 1500 Okay, so if we want to round up, what's a good ballpark figure we should use? What should we use? Come on, students. If we said it costs fifteen hundred, but we want to round up, give us a little cushion. What should we probably say? Come on. Round it up. Say it again. Round it up. Round it up. Yeah. Instead of fifteen hundred, let's add five hundred dollars to it and make it two thousand for each one of them. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here. So if one of them is two thousand dollars, how many of them are we gonna have? Three of them. So how much money just in shipping containers do we need to have? Six thousand. Okay. So just to make this happen, we have to have a minimum of six hundred thousand dollars. I mean six hundred thousand dollars. Okay, but in reality, if they're $1,500 a piece, we're probably only looking at $4,500. Okay, so that gives us about $1,500 worth of cushion to play with, right? That's always cool. Be over budget and have some room to play with. Uh huh. Okay, let's go here. $1,500. Okay, all right. So this is the direction that we get ready to go, but I'm, I'm going to share something with you that 
I know everybody said build it in the middle, but we were actually thinking about putting it either on the back fence or putting it closer to the front. Okay? Question. When you design it, you all been doing all this designing today. There's certain things you need to think about when you're designing something. Okay? If you put it in the middle, it kind of messes up your garden road. You know what I mean? If you put it in the back, that's okay. But then all your garden rows are close to the street. What's bad about having all your stuff close to the street? Somebody take it. Somebody take it. Okay? You got to think about all of this when you design it. So what we're really thinking about doing is putting the 30 by 30 up close to the front. And then if it's up here, people can't see all of that back there. They can't see it, they can't steal it. Okay, here's the other option. If you put it here and you put security cameras, you can watch it from wherever. Okay, but if you put it all the way back here, you still can put security cameras and watch it too. Okay, it's just something to think about. So really what we're thinking about is actually putting it closer up here to where it's hiding what's back here. Come on. And then when they put something in there, they have a trap. Yep, you can have a trap. Now all of this is going to be gated in. So really, they can't get in the gate, okay? But you still got to design so people can't rip you off. So unfortunately, you got to think like that, but people will get you. Okay? Quick question. Come on, sister. We talked about the soul channel. Are we going up or are we going down? We never said where we're going. Okay, that's a good question. Now, if we put solar panels on top of the outdoor classroom, where are we probably going to put them over here? Time. So, uh, good question. But the only space. Oh, let me let me let me multiply that question. In South Africa, we're actually going to put the garden mm -hmm. and the solar mm -hmm. on top of the building. Okay. Now, on top of the building, why do you think we? going to do it like that in South Africa. Same reason we're doing it like this here, because you want to pre prevent that. People will steal from you. Okay? So if you have a very large facility and you put it on top, what do they have to get into first before they can get to it? They got to get through the storage container. They got to get to the top of it. That's just too much trouble for somebody to go through and steal from it. Okay? So we'll put the soil and the agriculture on top. And another reason is land is expensive everywhere. Okay? So if you build a big facility and you use a lot of space, why not use free space on top? Okay, because what's going to go over the top of the building all the time? Not solar, but what's going to go across the top of the building every day? What? The sun. <laughs> If it ain't raining, whatever, the sun and the moon is going to go across the top every day. So that's a good reason to have the agriculture on top. And it's a good reason to have the solar on top because both of them are going to benefit from the reality that if it's not a rainy day, the sun is going to go across the top of the roof every day. All right. I didn't put Ron on the sleep, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Ron was up late because my granddaughter had That's an right. accident, so. You tired, my brother? <laughs> yeah, he's tired. Getting back to where you're going to put the home, should you design it where um, you can connect those pipes from the sewage from the restroom? Is, does that have any actual general? It does. And uh, I'm not 
that far, and I don't really know that far. We'll have somebody. Yeah, once we get the generic drawing that we want, we'll have somebody come in and, and tell us how it's really supposed to be done. I know just enough to get it started. Okay. So the good thing is we're going to have a restroom in here. Right. Okay, and so uh, that's that's really the only part I know is uh, we won't have to go over and use my parents' restroom. Because yeah. you think about it, you get 30 people running in and out, you know, right. air conditioning yeah. and all kinds of stuff. So we'll have a whole new space, and uh, when we pull this out, this is going to be awesome. Okay. All right, y'all. That's it for today. I appreciate you. Y'all did real good helping us design this. Wanted to make sure you were involved, know what's coming, put your input in, and most importantly, to know why you do, th do things a certain way. Because the main thing that Rice is teaching today is that part of design is what you got to do first. Mm -hmm. what, what do you got to do first before you do it? Huh? It's a T word. Okay, before you draw a plan, you got to do what first? T word. You got to think. Okay, the first step of everything is think of how you want to do it. And then your thinking actually causes you to start designing. And so what we just did, we took a situation needing to have something for us to sit in, something to store, all of these needs. And so we designed three storage containers, put them together to help us do what we're going to do in the future. So thank you all so much for your participation. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks.